All right, in lesson 56, we have common denominators part two. So in this part, we're going to worry, work with denominators that do, are not common, okay? I cannot change this two into a three no matter how hard, how hard I try. So I need to find another common denominator that both of these numbers go into. So the least common multiple of two and three is six. So I need to change both of my denominators. So I have one half plus one third. Okay, and I need to change both of these denominators into six. Okay, because two goes into six, and so does three. So I need to think two times what is six? Well, two times three is six, and whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. So I'm going to do 3 times 1, which is 3. Down here, I have a 3, and 3 times what equals 6? Well, 3 times 2 equals 6. And what do I do to the bottom? I do to the top. So 1 times 2 is equal to 2. Now I can add these two numbers. 3, 6 plus 2, 6 is equal to 5, 6. And that's my answer. So in this one, we have a word problem. So Risa saw that she had three-fourths of a carton of 12 eggs. She used two-thirds of a whole carton to make a batch of French toast for her family. What fraction of a carton of eggs was not used? In this problem, we're doing, we have three-fourths of a carton left, and then I'm taking away two-thirds of that carton. And I need to figure out how many, how many, uh, what fraction was not used. Okay, so again, I cannot change this 3 into a 4, no matter how hard I try. So I need to change both denominators. So I have to think, what number do both of these denominators go into? And the first one I can think of is 12. Both 3 and 4 go into 12. So now I'm going to do, well, 4 times what is 12? 4 times 3 is 12. And whatever I do to the bottom, I do to the top. So 3 times 3 is 9. Okay, so then 3 times what is 12? 3 times 4 is 12. Do this to the top as well. 2 times 4 is 8. So now I can subtract them. 9 twelfths minus 8 twelfths is equal to 1 twelfth. So she did not use 1 twelfth of the eggs. In this problem, it wants me to compare these two numbers. Now, it can be awfully hard to compare two numbers if the denominator is, the same, is not the same. So I'm going to change these numbers so the denominator is the same. And I know that 8 is a multiple of 2, so I'm going to change the denominator on this part to an 8. So I think 2 times what is 8? 2 times 4 is 8. So I'm going to multiply the top by 4 as well, so I get 4 eighths. So which one's bigger, 3 eighths or 4 eighths? And it's obvious that 4 eighths is bigger than 3 eighths. On the last one we're comparing, we have two-thirds and three-fourths. This one is harder to see which one is bigger. So we're going to change both of these fractions to a denominator that's the same. And we learned before that 12 is a common denominator of 3 and 4. So I do 3 times 4 is 12, so I need to do 2 times 4, which is 8. And then I need to do... 4 times 3 is 12, so then 3 times 3 is 9. So the bigger number is 3 fourths. And that's all. Good luck on your homework.